George and Gary were Quakers, and um, they don't drink alcohol. Quakers don't drink alcohol. So one of the one of the things I remember that was extraordinary about um, filming is all the crew and most actors and actresses. And you know, at the end of the day's filming, they really like to have a drink <laughs> and relieve the tension, especially on vacation. <clears throat> and so um, after a week or two, I think there were sort of murmurings amongst the crew. And uh, Gary and George said, well, perhaps we ought to go a party. So they gave a party, a very nice party for the cast and crew and everyone that was out in Tunisia. And there was everything you could possibly ask for, except they had forgotten to order any alcohol, not being in their minds. <laughs> it, was a, it was a bit of a sticky moment there until, until the um, cast and crew realized that it had just slipped their minds. But um, that, was, that was one of the interesting memories, I suppose. It's sort of, party that nearly turned into a riot. And I, the other one was um, R2-D2. So they were filming Jesus of Nazareth in the same location. It's an incredible location with the sand dunes and you could never see the difference. There wasn't a horizon there. There was no difference between the sand dunes and the sky. And um, R2, the R2-D2 that we were using at the time of the location was <coughs> run by a remote control. As I said, just over the dunes, they were filming Jesus of Nazareth. So we had our duty to walk out of shot, go out of shot over the sand dune, and somebody used the clicker, and it didn't work through the sand dune. And their R2D2 came onto the film set of Jesus of Nazareth. That must have been the most interesting outtake yes, in movie history. I don't think so. I'd love to have seen it. <laughs>